All right. How's it going? Today, uh, hi. <laughs> Welcome to this new session of, uh, of oil painting in, in my art studio. I, I hope you enjoy it. Today I'm going to be painting a, uh, a desert landscape, okay? So here we go. It's an um, 11 by 14 on canvas. I like the size because it just it just works well with with um, with the type of work that I do. And sometimes you'll see me painting on, on larger ones, but this will do for today. All right, there we go. There's something about uh, painting the desert landscape. I've always, I've always enjoyed it. Um, it seems almost uh, surreal. It's got that 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 Dali-esque. For those of you who like Salvador Dali, uh, I feel like it's got that Dali-esque uh, feeling. Landscapes, you know, desert landscapes. I'm talking about. Very, they tend to be to read, in my opinion. <laughs> Sometimes I have to use lots of tissue. Purple, just uh, you know, I call colors. They serve their purpose for, for whatever it is that I'm trying to convey, express. I try to keep my palette uh, to a minimum, not simple. I'm trying to say. Um, to avoid uh, money. For those painters out there who like to, uh, or getting into into oil painting, um, or any type of painting, I guess, um, I try to keep my br my brush uh, clean, you know, regularly. I do a few brush works, a few brush strokes, or you know. And then I, 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 I go and just get some paper in it. See? Doesn't have to be extremely. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm talking more. Doesn't have to be extremely clean, you know, but but just enough to to allow you to to put in the new color right, without creating that mud gray or unless you unless you're gonna use that color then you know. <laughs> When I use gray on my on my skies, um, certain grays, I like to mix them from the colors I've been using. And I know this might 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 seem odd to some artists, but it's it's worked for me. I like it. Uh, I love making my I, I don't I don't use black in my palette. Uh, I, don't, I don't use any black uh, colors, and uh, so I don't mix. Uh, you know, black and white to make gray. I kind of try to. I like that about the impressionist. Some of the impressionists they don't want to use. Uh, they don't want to use black to not to not darken the painting so much. I guess they are trying to get away from the from the earth tones and the you know the very dark tones that that the realists, the school of the realists, the painters were using during that time. And I kind of I dig that you know. I really like those those bright colors as opposed to for example one of the grades I like to do is is very simple just use uh, any sort of green with uh, 
or yellow green and put a you know a dab of red and and that will create my gray you know but I like to create either way I like to create the sky from the same tones that I use at the bottom you know so if I'm using fusia I'll put some fusia uh, you know a little bit in my in my gray I like to tie my paintings together put them in a nice ribbon <laughs> tie the colors in Sometimes you'll see me pick up speed, sometimes not, it just depends on, on the mood that um, I'm trying to capture. But, uh, but I do love speed and painting. It's just kind of my thing, you know, a lot of people don't like that, but it's, I mean, it's, it's my thing, you know. This is how I get into the zone. I know some people have asked me, why don't you slow down when you, know, you paint too fast? But, but you know, this works for me. This is what I like. And if if, if you're into into this kind of art, you're probably gonna like. You know? Speed for me speed speaks power. It, it takes me automatically it takes me to that to that place, to that to that zone. It automatically takes me to that um It pervades every every artist is trying to get to, you know. Or I think every artist is trying to get to. Yeah, speed does it for me. You can use the fuchsia that I'm there, right here in this area. Uh, I'll also be using it in the sky sometimes. It just depends, you know. It's, there's no, there's no rules for me. There's no, there's no, there's no do this and it's gonna work. You know, it's it's practice, practice, practice. You're gonna find your place. If if um, if you paint, you're gonna find your place. You're gonna find that, that area where where you know what to do. It's in the spatial. It's it's just. It's the product of practice. It's the product of, of owning your skill, and and you're not necessarily trying to paint like anyone. You're 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 doing you. And that is a very uh, rewarding place when you start when you start doing you more and more. You know, everybody starts. Yeah, getting inspired and you know, like Picasso's the greatest <laughs> artist copy yeah, or steal, good artist copy, great artist steal, that kind of thing. You know, of course, I mean, there's there's nothing we 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 all look to to inspire, you know, to become inspired. But then you you with more and more practice, it's my belief that you start coming into this, into your into your personal voice. I guess let's put it that way. So there it is. There's a desert landscape, uh, a la Trujillo. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it.